Hello, this is a tutorial on how to do the week five Excel activity. I've been having trouble with the audio, so hopefully this is going to work. Um, I'm in Outlook. I'm going to go to the waffle. I'm going to go to Excel and I'm going to start a new page. Blank notebook. I'm going to click here and rename it week 5 Excel enter to lock it in place the directions say in A1 to type course name it says font should be Times New Roman 12 point bold it also says it's going to be too big. So the trick first we're going to do is we're going to click on the line between A and B and it will automatically resize it. Next we're going to highlight A and B. We're going to go to Times New Roman 12 Bold. All right, we're going to go to B1 and type number. We are going to go to A2 and type COM 104 HUSS 12 H U S S space one two five S O S C space two two six enter P H I L L space three one four enter I N F T one two four enter A C C T two ten now it says these could be any font you choose, but to be consistent. Right now we have Times New Roman and then Calabre. I'm going to highlight uh, A2 through A7 and B, and I'm going to make everything Times New Roman just because that's what I like and I like the consistency. But we also need to change this to 12. We are not going to make it bold. All right, when we look at direction four, it says to add these numbers. So we're going to say 19, 22, 15, 24, 21, 18. Step five says to go to A8, type total. I forgot I had the cap locks on. Total, geez, total, it says this should be in Times New Roman 12 bold. So I'm going to highlight Times New Roman 12 bold. Step six says to click on cell B8. And what we're going to do is we are going to auto sum this. And what that means is we're going to click on B2, drag down to B7. Let me start that over again. I'm going to click on B8, click on the auto sum and then make sure it is B2 through B7, B2 to B7, that's going to be summed. When we push enter, it's going to lock the formula in place. And finally, with this, we're going to change it so that now everything will be Times New Roman 12, and let's just check. 
It does not say in the directions to make it bold, but just for the continuity of it, I'm going to click on bold so that now our titles are Times New Roman 12 bold and our sum is Times New Roman 12 bold. All right, next we're going to add some graphs. So step seven says, after entering the data, select the data to be graphed. So this is the part that gets confusing. We're going to click on A2, come down, and over. So when I say click, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to click on A2. I'm going to click. I'm going to hold the button down, and I'm going to drag over. We don't want to include course name and number. We don't want to include title and the sum. So I'm going to go over to the Insert tab. I'm going to go over to first the pie chart. And here we go. We're going to rename the title by double clicking on it. student roster say okay and we need to add our data labels so we're going to click on the wedge I'm sorry we're not going to click on the wedge we're going to go up to data labels and say inside end and now we'll see it gives us our number now we don't want the percentage here we want the number so now this graph is done we're going to click and drag it over here and now we need to add a bar chart so we're going to come back highlight our data insert bar graph So we have our graph. We're going to double click once again on the title, change it to student roster, click on OK. We're going to go to data labels, and we're going to go to, it says data callouts, but we're going to go to outside end. Next, we need to take it and drag it up top. Okay, you'll notice that I changed where I dragged my graph because the directions say to put it below the student roster. If that's not where you put it, as long as you've included it, that's fine. So our last couple steps are just to save this and then upload it. So we're going to go to File, and here's the tricky part. We're going to say Save As. We want to save, we want to download a copy, because we don't want this in OneDrive. Download a copy. Now it's here on our computer, in our documents, and that's the file you're going to upload. My documents, and you'll see I have all sorts of stuff in here. But today, and this is the file that I'm going to upload. Hopefully this helps with some of the confusion. Let me know what you think. Bye.